Ah. Greetings from the eerie coast. This is Mad Shad. On this wonderful Sunday. Wow. Beautiful day. It's like 60 degrees. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. You can probably hear my neighbors chirping away. We've already been went with for a uh, epic walk, me and Charity. Uh, here's, here's Charity. Just chilling, right? Yeah. She's uh, relaxing. Plum tuckered out, right? So, uh, yeah, we've already been out there running around. and uh, I wore two jackets. I was expecting uh, rain and snow, and boom, there's sunlight. And damn near uh, spring-like conditions. So uh, today's a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tell you about those who did not have a great day. Yeah, that's right. Those Americans that were trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe and his malicious slash incompetent regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at a gate, along with 200 other poor souls. 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them were service members as well. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. Mm -hmm. But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X, this Project Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. And least we forget, 700, 800 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle held there as political prisoners without sentencing, without bail. And torturous solitary confinement conditions under constant interrogation. Someone lost an eye. And there have been suicides. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, definitely deploy more knife hands. <laughs> But there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, law firms doing pro bono work, even some senators, congressmen, representatives, and judges getting into the fray. <sighs> yep. You know, every morning they make a phone call to their family, friends, and loved ones, and they sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. Yeah, that's amazing. It's awe-inspiring. <sighs> Meanwhile, well, let's talk about that. Meanwhile, uh, demoralization, destabilization... Crisis, normalization. Where do you think this falls? Where do you think this lies? Well, if it's our own tyrannical regime doing this and hanging on to these people that that casually walked into a public building. Yeah. Casually walked in and we're allowed, we're invited in, by the way. <laughs> but we're inv invited in by the authority. DC police on 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 stem on on site there. Uh, yeah, it was a little spicy. Things got spicy, but eventually they allowed them in. They removed barricades. They opened doors. They ushered people in. They took them on guided tours. <sighs> Ashley Babbitt was shot. Uh, she was trying to gain access to a restricted area. Still very uh, cloudy of what's going on. What happened there? Uh, you know. Tensions were high, uh, and then it seemed that things de-escalated quickly, really quickly. You know, once the the Capitol doors were were uh, opened, you know, because the D.C. police were were trying to barricade themselves in there uh, to allow for everybody else in the in the Capitol Capitol building to escape to safety. You know, through via the tunnels or or just drive up out of there. Uh, they, they have a place where they can just get in their vehicles. It's a very secured area, a uh, secured parking lot. They, they get in that, they get in their vehicles and their entourages and convoy out. Boom, they're gone. And that's what a lot of them did. Matter of fact, the, it was a skeleton crew of, of our uh, of public servants that were there that day. I mean, you know, a lot of them were not there. They already knew. They're like, no, we're not going there. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy. We already know what's going to happen. Yeah, whatever. But for our our tyrannical regime to target everyone involved in that, 
and incarcerate them for years, send people to prison, ruin lives, breaking up families, displacing families. What does that tell you? That's part, that's part demoralization and destabilization. Because nobody, have you ever heard, have you heard of another insurrection? Well, you have, but on the other side. See, that's how it works, right? If there's righteous indignation on one side, then they're, 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 uh, they're, uh, they're, they're targeted and they're, they're demonized. If, if there's, you know, fits the narrative and pushes their, their tyrannical regime, oh, well, then it's sanctioned. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, all you crazy uh, pink hairs and green hairs. Go ahead and, you know, may, do the same thing to a Tennessee Capitol building and demand the death and get violent. It's okay. See, that's sanctioned. But, yeah, so, folks, that's, that, that day, that, in, that, that, that day of the insurrection is going to go down in history as the moment we officially lost our country. Think about that. <laughs> well, I'd say officially lost our government. So, where 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 does that leave you and me? Oh well, we don't care. For years we have not cared. Nobody's cared. You have other things to think about. You got food, water, shelter, taxes, insurance, overtime. Gonna feed your dog. Mm. This girl eats a lot, <laughs> right, Charity? This girl eats a lot. <laughs> I do too. But yeah, we have other things to worry about. We don't. We we don't have time to worry about how we lost our government, how it's been weaponized against us. No, but it is a very demoralizing fact. And soon it's going to be a very, a very destabilizing fact. And when the crisis happens, which it will, that's exactly what they're working towards. Um, and that's, that's by playing us against each other. Remember how I said we, the people, right? We are many, they are few. We do what we want, they do what they can. Well, they're doing all that they can to destabilize we the people. To create that barrier between each and every one of us. Because united we stand, divided we fall. And right now they are trying to divide us as much as they can. So what do we need? What do we want? We do what we want. What I want is unity, solidarity. A sense of kinmanship in this great nation, because we all are our, we all are Americans, regardless of who or what you look like, what you smell like, you know, aka patchouli, nonchapa, whatever, uh, <laughs> you know, motor oil, you know, dirt, uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, I mean, regardless of of what your status is, when you know. Uh, Yes, we're all individuals, but we're all brothers and sisters of this great nation. So solidarity, unity, bringing people together, reaching over the table, trying to find some type of common ground with the enemy who could be your, who could be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, yeah. Your cousin that wants to be a furry. You got, you got, you got to reach out. You got to, you got to reach out to these people, and go, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't you see what's happening? Because they're being lied to, just like we're being lied to. Everybody's being lied to. That's how this is all works. 
lies and suggestions. That's all it is. That's all they've been using. Lies and suggestions to get their way. And it appears to be working. So, anyway. Uh, meanwhile, last night, trial by axe. Haven't done a trial by axe in quite some time. And it was an epic night. Uh, justice has definitely been served to, uh, to Sean John. Sean John Combs, even though he is still MIA. Nobody knows where he's at. Somebody knows where he's at. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Man on the run. <laughs> Man on the run. Right? So, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a great night. Epic night. Everybody came through. Had a great time. Uh, throwing axes. Uh, Team Linda even showed up. It was great. Uh, she hung out with us for a while. She didn't throw any axes or anything. Uh, but, you know, she was hanging out with us and, uh, you know, having a good time. Uh, it's always a good time at Trial by Axe, you know, where cheating is greatly encouraged and so is shit talking. So, yeah. uh, so uh, lots of lots of uh, lots of people going at it, you know, challenging, challenging each other and, you know, a spectator. It's definitely a spectator sport as well. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I appreciate everyone that stopped by and hung out with us. Uh, it was a great time. Great time. You know. Uh, and today is Sunday, um, the, the day before the eclipse apocalypse, right? So, uh, uh, how am I preparing for the eclipse apocalypse? Doom, 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 doom. I'm relaxing. Yeah, I'm eating steak, so is Charity. Uh, we just had a meal of steak, uh, and green beans and some spicy gravy. <laughs> I, I had the spicy gravy, she didn't. Uh, but, you know, just hanging out, relaxing, cleaning the house, you know, that's about it, you know. Uh, I might I might go uh, for my prep, for my Sunday uh, pre-eclipse apocalypse prep, I might get chocolate milk and cigarettes. Yeah, that's on my to-do list. Yeah, because I, I don't want to go into the apocalypse with no uh, chocolate milk or cigarettes. Right. <laughs> So, yeah, maybe some ice cream. I don't know. Maybe some pie. Ah, ooh, pie. Pie is always a winner, right? So, uh, <laughs> um, that's it. That's it, really. You know, uh, I, I'm in a pretty good location. I can view the view the eclipse. Uh, I can't see the comet, nor can I see the rockets. Right. So, uh. I don't know what's going on with these rockets that NASA is going to be firing into the totalitarity. I don't know why. They've given some type of reason that they're going to go up. They're going to shoot off three rockets uh, and they're going to explode. There's going to be explosions. What? I, I've never I've never heard of NASA shooting off rockets into the sky towards the moon into the atmosphere to explode and so that they can monitor and test things. Once again, lies, lies. So, something's not right with that. I, I mean, I've, 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 there, there is rocket testing facilities, uh, that the military and, and, and civilian sector, private and civilian sector uses to test exploding rockets. But, for NASA to say, oh yeah, we're going to shoot off some some rockets into the ionosphere and we're going to explode something up there and then we're going to test and monitor the effects. It does raise some eyebrows, even though I don't have any. Well, I actually have like three hairs here and there. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but I've never heard of this. And uh, the more I look into it, I, I like to, I, even though I'm a very critical person and I, I like to be very pragmatic and prudent, uh, I, like, I, I do like a good conspiracy theory. I really do. It's very entertaining for me. Uh, it's that whole working the probability machine. And it's kind of like chess. You know, it is. It's kind of like chess. Is, is this a possibility? Yes. How, how strong of a possibility is? Uh, probably about 10%, maybe five, maybe two, you know, or, ooh, that's a hundred percent, you know, uh, but you never really know until it happens. You know, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of a rather wait and see, you know, hear all the 
uh, the the abs- all, all the all the possibilities and the you know what what could happen what what's the real the real deal going on you know what I'm saying Lift, look behind the veil kind of shit uh, and you never get to see the whole story because it, it's always shrouded in mystery or it's a very simple thing and you're looking you're 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 making mountains out of molehills I mean but it is very entertaining isn't it to to uh, to uh, you know, entertain these conspiracy theories and notions. And so uh, one of them uh, is that uh, the three rockets, which the truth is one of the rockets is named is APEP. They literally have it written down in, in some type of uh, ancient font on the side of a rocket. And it's called APEP. I'm like, what is APEP? Who? Why would you call your rocket APEP? Well, if you look up Apep, it's the Egyptian goddess of chaos. Huh? Uh, now you know these these uh these nerds and eggheads that 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 put all this stuff together. It's, it's a whole team of people that work together, and they they have this excitable uh you know intelligent energy that they're just like, wow, this is so amazing! Ah, we're get to go in. We're gonna shoot a rocket in the sky. We're gonna explode it. It's gonna set off some ions, and we're gonna to study them and and see what the the relatively nature of 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 dark matter is, or or whatever. Or, you know, wow, did you see? that specter you know on, on the spectrometer you know did you see that wow you know so for us just layman people were like okay that makes no sense to me but whatever you guys have fun right but <laughs> I, I get a little nervous when, when they start naming uh you know innocuous things uh very sinister gods <laughs> very sinister names i mean I, I do the same i guess we all do the same you 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 have a uh a, a name for your for your car you got a name for your pew pew you got a name for your axe your gun your knife your sword you know that's yeah i get it but you know uh i i don't understand the whole you know that idea of you're you're going to name a rocket a test rocket a scientist rocket a nasa scientists research rocket apep the god of chaos you know really uh what, what, what what's is is that the one i mean is that how the conspiracy theory started you know or that the uh the mission is to explode something in in the uh in the in the atmosphere hmm. or is it going to explode or is it just just i don't know some little pop of glitter and there you go wow yay uh, but you know, uh, there's that, and, and there's so many correlations, right? That, that, that people make these connections. Okay, uh, yeah, th- that's fine. That's fine. You make these connections. You know, four, eight, you know, twenty-four. All these numbers. Numbers mean things. Yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, you know, we, we we heard the the devil horned comet is coming through i don't really think it looks like a devil horned comet uh and you have to think about why who and why who named it who's doing this and why are they doing this why are they naming a pip why are they doing what why is this why is that you know what is their 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 uh their modus operandi you know and then it give you some type of insight Right, you know, some type. Uh, it might be very innocuous. It might be very innocent, you know. But you know, you're always going to see things that are not there, and that's also part of the spell. Because if, especially in this social engineering, right, you know, the 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 uh, day and age of social media, the the day and age of instant intelligence, instant uh, gratification, instant knowing, right. That can be manipulated big time. So yeah, they can get everybody thinking on the same wavelength. Oh, it's the apocalypse. The eclipse apocalypse. Oh, oh, oh. oh get your food. Get your water. Ah, ah, ah. So, right, you know. Uh, remember that saying, uh, the anticipation of death, death is worse than death itself? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, if, if you... If you intimidate and coerce people into making into a false sense of fear, whip that up 
whip that up into a frenzy, then you've already won. If you can, if you can cast fear and doubt into your enemy's enemy's ranks, you've already won. Because they're not going to be thinking clearly. Nor are they, are they going to know what to do when something eventually happens. Something pre-planned, something false flag, something black, fla- black swan, whatever the case may be. Either it be, you know, man-made or natural. Everybody's going to be like, see, I told you so. You're going to have all these people, these, these I told you so warriors. They came out and go, I told you so. Okay, great. You were you were you were right one out of one point five billion times that you made a prediction. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you now have your valid uh, validation. Congratulations, you fucking idiot. Uh, but <laughs> you know, I'm rather I'm on the rather wait and see spectrum. You know? Like I said, it's 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 entertaining and it does kind of. You know, it's it's a mental workout, right? So you're like, oh wow, this could be it, that could be it. You know, uh, as as humans, we we evolved to be able to uh, contemplate subtle, very subtle uh, signs and signs and, and things in nature to give us the big story. You know, uh, if if you uh, if you walk into a woods. And there's birds chirping everywhere, and you're like, "All right, yeah, this is good." And you're trying to be nice and quiet and stealthy and stay out of the way, and you know, and you're you're maybe say you're hunting a uh, the 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 mighty elk uh, for your village, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all the birds fly away, and you're like, "Fuck, what was that?" And the and the, the 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 forest is quiet. Very subtle things. Crickets stop chirping. All motion and noise cease. Then out of nowhere, a thundering herd of war elephants <laughs> boom, 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 comes trampling down the hillside into your location, scattering trees and, and breaking things. And you're like, whoa, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> right? That's an oh, shit moment. You know, or there's a, a large tiger or saber-toothed tiger that's been stalking the land. And boom, now somebody knows it's there. And oh, shit, big predator in the house, right? Yeah, I mean, or there's an avalanche or whatever, you know. Uh, weather, same thing. You, you look at the cloud formations that go, oh, that could be a thunderstorm. That could be a freak snowstorm. That could be a... You know, whatever. You know, oh shit, we have tornadoes. It's possible. You know, we 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 know the subtleties. We 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 like to to be uh, uh, tipped off by these little subtle hints of things to come. We're pretty good at it. We get a lot of it wrong, though. Your mind is a probability machine, and if you add emotion to that, you will definitely always make the wrong decision. You know, that's that's the whole idea of of uh, being a uh, being analytical, being logical uh, is in, in trying to take and be stoic is to be uh, being able to assess the situation, process these hints uh, and these telltale signs, these, uh, you know, intelligence points uh, and and make a accurate assumption because it is a assumption. It can always be wrong. And then, and then you go from there. So, even if you think you're a hundred percent right, chances are you're probably only ten percent right. So that, that's that's the uh, that's the the uh, the interesting uh, human condition, and that can be manipulated and played with. You know, because all it takes is a little little lie and suggestion, and everything changes in your world. So. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, I know. Feeling, I'm feeling some kind of way right now. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm looking at this whole eclipse apocalypse, uh, with a, a type of kind of wonder and awe. Yeah, it's going to be an awe-inspiring, uh, moment. You know, uh, you know, this does happen every mo- every month though. I mean, uh, the, the moon does 
and it will come in direct alignment with the sun. Uh, usually it's done at nighttime, so we don't get to see that. This uh, visual uh, celestial anomaly. anomaly. Uh, and so uh, that we only have one moon. Imagine if you're on Saturn and there's there's 57 moons. Wow, you would have a total eclipse like, uh, I don't know, every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know we 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 like to assign uh we we like to assign some type of uh you know uh value to uh to what we're experiencing you know uh when it's in in the whole uh the whole scheme of the universe this is a a a very uh natural occurrence you know so think about that when you're Looking in at all at the sun while you're burning your retinas out, uh, you know, because you bought the cheapest uh, the cheapest sunglasses you could find because nobody else had some, and somebody took some colored paper and put them between two pieces of cardboard and said, "Here you go, uh, that'd be twenty twenty bucks, please." You know, uh, so <laughs> you know, I think about that as your retinas burn, and uh, you forever will have a circle uh, in your eyeball, you know, wherever you look. Uh, almost like a sight, maybe a little pipper. I don't know. Get your own, uh, get your own holographic sight in your eyeball. Nice. <laughs> but anyway, uh, think about that uh, as you as you're watching this amazing, absolutely amazing uh, 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 celestial event. Uh, and then of course the the, the comet coming through. Uh, whatever. Uh, CERN firing up. I don't really care about CERNs. I think CERN is is basically. Uh, a waste of time. Uh, yeah, they're making uh, they're making uh, all kinds of you know uh, d discoveries into nanoscience and, and, and you know small little part uh, particulates uh, you know physics uh, seeing thing how things react when there's two two pieces of uh, very micro nanoparticulate matters colliding into each other. I mean, I guess, uh, okay, uh, but you know what, it, it, it just seems like a, you know, and it's a multinational uh, 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 conglomeration. Everybody's into this thing. Everybody's loving this thing and, and contributing to it. And So you can imagine the massive conspiracy theories. And yes, there is some occultism into this, you know. Uh, these, it, you know, kind of, kind of likens to the, uh, to the, uh, funny mustache man and all his uh grand experiments that he made and of course that's you know and there was a lot of trial and error a lot of failures but eventually he did get the nuclear bomb which of course we stole uh and then the russians stole it from us and got it so you know uh <laughs> right uh so there's that i don't know uh so whatever they make it, you know eventually we'll get to steal it it's it's fine right i mean you know uh Nowadays, you're, you, you can create your own nuclear fusion or fission reactor in your garage uh, because the science is sound. Uh, it's just uh, gathering the, uh, the necessary equipment and, uh, and, and, and uh, exotic materials to do such. So, I mean, it is possible. It, it is possible that we can, we can do exactly what everybody else is doing with these whole nuclear, uh, the nuclear technology. We can do the same thing. It's just you know we gotta have the uh, 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 the the massive uh, the massive uh, 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 infrastructure to support such thing, but you can uh, you can you you can create all this. So whatever they come up with, you know, some kind of amazing discovery, which you know I, I'm very skeptical about. Uh, it's okay because eventually we'll find out about it and steal that too. <laughs> it will be common knowledge. Once the Pandora's box is opened, it stays open. It doesn't close, right? Somebody somewhere knows about what's going on. So anyway, I uh, know a long-winded every day never forget. So uh, uh, yes, go team Linda. Go team Linda. Fuck cancer. She is kicking ass, taking names with her uh, cyber uh, cyborg. <laughs> Whoa, was that right, Charity? With her cyborg, uh, cyborg port uh, on her port side. Uh, and then go Team Joe's mama. Go Team Joe as well. Uh, go check out Joe Morgan. Give, go give him some love and support. 
This has been Mad Shad and Charity, who is just loving my, my belly. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Here she comes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, encouraging y'all to continue to train. Ow, you're, ow, you're standing on my pancreas. <laughs> encouraging y'all to continue to train, continue to prep, because we all know it's a mad, mad world out there. Ah, every day, never forget. Oh, <laughs> oh, such good kisses, Charity. Thank you.